Hi everybody. In this video, we're going to get you set up with Quarto. Quarto is an open source publishing platform that allows you to integrate text with your code, right? Um, so it allows you to make documents. It allows you to make uh, slides. It allows you to make websites. It's kind of like a coder's version of Word, PowerPoint, and Wix or Dreamweaver all wrapped into one, okay? Uh, so you can integrate your code without having to cut and paste stuff uh, into your document. Uh, it's pretty remarkable. So uh, let me just show you a little bit about what it can do. So this is a website for uh, another course that I teach, Comparative Political Economy. This was built with Quarto. The website for this course that you're taking was built with Quarto as well. Um, but uh, basically you can see the layout of the course. Um, you can click on the slides. The slides are also made with Quarto. So we can look at this week on modernization theory, for example. Um, so this is a presentation that I give to students in this course every semester that I teach it. It has data visualizations uh, made with ggplot2 that are integrated right into the slides. Um, so we can go back to the uh, course homepage. Uh, we can click on you know the instructions for the project assignment, which were also produced uh, with Quarto. And this is just text and links. This doesn't have any code. But, uh, but you can do all of this, uh, slides, documents like this one, and a website and integrate it all with Quarto, okay? And that is part of what I'm gonna be showing you how to do in this class. So we wanna get started with Quarto. The first step is gonna to be to download Quarto. Now, actually our studio comes with a version of Quarto installed, but I find it good practice to download it separately, partly because Quarto's new and it's changing really fast. Um, so there are a lot of updates, but also partly because if you want to use it with another IDE like uh, Microsoft Visual Code, you can do that. Uh, so it's a standalone application that doesn't depend necessarily on our studio. It's also language agnostic. It supports Python, it supports R, it supports Julia, and Observable. It works with any of those languages, which is pretty impressive as well. Uh, but back to the main point, uh, we want to go ahead and download this. So if you just navigate to this page, I have it linked in the course website, or if you just want to Google Quarto getting started, you'll find a link to this page and it'll detect your system just like our studio did when you downloaded our studio and you can click on it and go ahead and uh, complete the download uh, process. Okay. And then like it says here, you can use it with a number of different IDEs. We're going to be using our studio. Once you have that done, uh, we can go ahead and we can we can create our first Quarto document. But part of what I want to show you in this lesson as well is what's referred to as a project-based workflow. Uh, and what that means is we're going to create a project folder. The project folder is going to have a .rproj file. Um, that's an important file. It doesn't look like it does anything, but it actually coordinates all of the files in that folder, right? This way you don't have to do like a change directory command at the beginning of every script. Uh, RStudio will automatically know where to grab the files from because of that uh, .rproj file, okay? So that's the workflow that we're gonna be following in this course. I have a little bit more about that on the course website if you wanna read uh, more about it. I linked to a blog post uh, um, that takes a very, that has a very um, strong opinion on uh, a project-based workflow. Okay, so we're gonna to go to File. We're gonna to go to New Project. So the options here are New Directory, Existing Directory, and Version Control. You would use New Directory if you wanna create a new folder for this project, which is what we're gonna do. We're gonna create a new folder in an existing folder, but we want a new folder for the project. If you already have a a, a, a folder created for the project and you don't need to create a new one then choose existing directory and then the other option is version control uh, which we're not going to get to in this lesson but this is if you're 
basically pushing your project to a GitHub repo. Okay, so let's go ahead and select new directory and we'll select new project and notice here you can select from different types of projects as well. We're just going to select new project to simplify things. Then you have to select where you want to save it, where you want this folder to be created. And for the purposes of this example, I created a folder on my desktop called dataviz underscore 2102. You might want to create a folder like this, you know, for this course uh, where you can save projects for this course, okay? Create and save projects for this course, all right? And we'll just call this example project and then hit create and then what it's going to do is it's going to create this project folder called example project within data viz 2102 okay um, so this is my desktop folder this is data viz 2102 where I saved this new project folder and this is the project folder and if we click on the project folder we see this file called example underscore project dot proj. This is an important file don't delete it this is what coordinates all of the different files in your project folder. So the next thing we want to do is to create our first Quarto document. So go to file, go to new file, Go to Quarto document and click on it. Then it's going to ask for a title, say Quarto test or something like that. Author, you can put your name. Uh, I'll put Prof T here and we'll go ahead and create it. All right, and so there are a few key things about this document that I kind of want to point out here. So this first part of the document up here is called the YAML header, and this takes care of all of the front matter and formatting for the document. So we can have a title, we can add a subtitle if we want, uh, add a subtitle. We can have multiple authors if we want. Uh, we can specify the font here, um, all kinds of things. Um, for the most part, in this class, we're going to be working with pretty simple HTML or PDF documents. So we'll be telling Quarto here whether we want the format to be HTML or PDF. And the other thing that we may want to change occasionally is some execution options. And we want to tell it specific things about how we want our code to be executed. Do we want it to be evaluated, first of all, or do we just want the code to be echoed in the document? Um, do we want the code to be evaluated, um, but, the, uh, but the code not appear in the document? So we can set echo to true if we want the code to be evaluated and we want the code to be executed in the document, but false if we want the code to be evaluated, but we don't want the code to appear in the document. Um, do we want warnings to appear or not? Um, errors, etc. Okay. Um, so those are some of the options that we can set in the YAML header. So the YAML header is a crucial piece of the document. Again, not something you want to delete. Okay, so the next thing I want to tell you is that when we're working in Quarto, we're going to be writing in Markdown. And if you're not familiar with Markdown, I'll put a link to a Markdown guide in the, on the course website. Uh, but it's really simple and the template gives you some examples of basic markdown here so if you want a section header you write hash and then whatever you want the title of that header to be or if you want a slightly smaller section header then you use like they have here two hashes or if you want it to be an even smaller subsection header then it would be three hashes subsection header okay and this is how you would embed a link to a website. Uh, another way to embed a link to a website is to write some brackets um, and then the text that you want to appear and then 
the URL of the website. And then this will appear as link in your document, but this will not appear. This will just, the document will just take you to this website when you click on link, okay? And I'll show you how that looks in a second when I render this document. If you would want bold text, you would use two stars on either side of the word. Uh, this word render is gonna be bolded when we render this document. If you wanted italics, you would use one star on either side of the word, all right? So have a look at a markdown guide if you're not familiar with it, and you know play around with the Quarto document and try different styling with basic markdown. So uh, from there, next thing I wanna show you is a code chunk. We've already had some exposure to this, uh, but this is a code chunk, and an easy way to get a code chunk in, an, uh, in a Quarto document is just to hit this icon up here, insert a new code chunk, and that gives you a new R code chunk, okay? Uh, but basically what a code chunk does, it allows you to write the code. This is how you integrate your code with your text, right? So you write the code, and then you can run it, right, just by hitting this little arrow up here, okay? But also, when we render the document, this code, depending on what settings we have, but the default is that this code is gonna appear in the document, and then the output is also gonna appear in the document, okay? Um, and like it says here, you can change the execution options. So for example, if you wanted the results of the code to appear, but not the code itself, you would write hash pipe, that indicates that you're gonna put a code chunk option in the code chunk. So hash pipe echo colon false. That tells it not to echo the code, but to still execute it and give you the result. All right, so what you would do next is save this and then render it. But before I render, I wanna change it back to HTML real quick. So let's render an HTML document first. Okay, and then it should render the document as an HTML file and it should open up in, a brow in your default browser. Okay, and so this is what you would see. So we have our quarto, little subsection header that we wrote, the author, Professor T, our subtitle that we put in, notice that that has changed as well. Um, and this is our link to the Quarto website, right? And that goes to the Quarto website, okay? Then we have our code down here. This is the echoed code. So this is the code that we wrote. So Quarto is embedding that in the document and then it's giving us the output. And then where we said echo false, it gave us the output, but it didn't give us the code, okay? All right, so that's basically how the HTML works. So now, next thing I wanna show you is what if you wanna make a PDF document? In order to render a PDF, you have to have some version of LaTeX installed because Quarto uses LaTeX to render PDF. Um, what most people use is TinyTech, which is a lightweight version of LaTeX that's optimized for integration with Quarto. To install TinyTech for Quarto, it's really easy. You just go here to Terminal, and you type Quarto install TinyTech, and hit Enter, and it'll install. I'm not going to do it now because I already have it installed, but that's basically how you do it. So once you have TinyTech installed, you're ready to render your PDF. Uh, and all you have to do is change this line here from a uh, format from HTML to PDF and then click render. Okay, and that looks like it worked and that should also show up in your, in your browser, right? Uh, automatically. So you should be able to see the PDF document. And as you can see, the styling is a little bit different here because it's a PDF document, but you should also see the PDF saved here in your project folder. So you can click on that and then that should open in whatever your default uh, PDF viewer is. So in my case, it's Sumatra. Um, so it just opens there as a PDF document. Another uh, nice feature of Quarto that I wanna uh, show you is this visual code editor. So um, let's say you get tired of writing in Markdown and you just kinda wanna have something more like a Microsoft Word editor. Um, Quarto offers something like that, right? So instead of typing code here, we can 
uh, hit this bold icon uh, for bolded text or if we want this to be in italics we can hit italic uh, we also have this code button so let's say we had the name of a package or something that we wanted to uh, highlight as code in our document um, we could use that shortcut there um, uh, there are a lot of other options here so for different size headers you can use this right uh, so we were talking about this our subsection header uh, we could have a different header here and we can say we want it to be that size header three um, there's a link shortcut here a shortcut for embedding images and and a lot more and if you want you can make the uh, the visual editor the default in your document by setting it in the uh, in the in the YAML header okay so that's it that's how you create and render a document in Quarto an essential skill for this course and you should be ready now to tackle some of the modules